you so much for finding my channel on the interwebs because this is my first tutorial and I am so proud of this. I have been a makeup artist for far too long. I don't even know how long it's been, but it's <laughs> it's been a minute. I started as a painter and now I just paint faces. For my first tutorial, I wanted to do something very representative of me. I thought about what I was. I am glitter, I'm glam. I don't really know what we're gonna call this, like alien glam. I don't, Sunday brunch. I, before we start though, look at this nail. This is not like the rest. Don't you dare read me because I will find you in the comments and I will respond. So don't come for me. If you wanna learn how to get this face on your mug, then just keep on watching. Okay fam, we're gonna start off by prepping our complexion. Here I'm using Olay Total Effects 7 Under Eye Cream and I'm just going to pat that under my eyes with my ring finger. To give my moisturizer a little bit of a boost, I'm gonna spray some Rose Water by Mario Badescu on top of my skin and then I'm gonna rub my Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream SPF 30 Everyday Moisturizer on top. Look, I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to look 90 when I'm 20, so I take some moisturizer, put it on the back of my knuckles, and rub my neck in upward motion so I don't tug my skin down and cause that premature aging, you know what I'm saying? Your makeup is only as good as your base, so we're going to prime. Duh! This is the Step 1 Skin Equalizer Hydrating from Makeup Forever, and this is Step 1 Mattifying Skin Equalizer, also from Makeup Forever. I've been using the mattifying a little bit more because it fills in your pores so beautifully, but I also use the hydrating one when my skin is a little bit more dry. When using a pore minimizing primer, you really want to pat it into your skin because that is the only way you're going to actually fill the pore. And I don't know about you, but up here on my channel, we are trying to slay, so pat, pat, pat. What can I say? I gotta do the most at all times. So I'm gonna lay down a little bit of cream bronzer to give my base foundation some dimension. This particular one is from Sunny Kashuk and the brush is a Zoeva 110 face shape. Unlike contouring where you would wanna put the darker shade under the bone you want to accentuate, I'm putting it on top. So on top of my cheekbones, a beige rainbow on my forehead, on my actual jawline, and a little bit under my nose. Yes, it can look a little intimidating, but once it's blended in with your foundation, it'll just take away that, hi, I just woke up in a morgue, how are you today? Look, and put the color, structure, and dimension back in your face where it belongs. Using my trusty beauty blender, I'm just laying down some L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation onto all the areas without the cream bronzer. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend my face mindfully, which simply means take care of all of the highlighted areas first and then your bronze area second. I'm just gonna use what is left on the Beauty Blender to knock back that cream contour down to a much more natural level so it's not so dark. Once you get to your cheekbones, make sure you do anything but pull that cream bronzer down. Just wanna keep a nice clean line between your cheekbone and jawbone. As far as consistency is concerned, this Sonia Kasha Cream Bronzer is such a nice dupe for the Chanel Tende Soleil, which is wonderful because y'all know we about saving that hard-earned coin beauty butter drop. <laughs> so if you're not a total Scrooge for life and find you have some creasing around your mouth throughout the day because you, I don't know, smile maybe, try setting this with some translucent setting powder and baking it for just a couple minutes. To prime my eyeballs, I'm going to be really innovative and use MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because no one else has ever done that. Hi! Yes, that was total sarcasm. Thank you so much. And now just setting with some translucent powder. Hello color options. Thanks for coming to the party. If Soft Ochre is too yellow for you, Painterly is more pink. Let's dive right into eyeshadow, shall we? I'm going to take a little dunk in this peachy moment from Lorac Mega Pro 2. This is Melon. And of course, this is just a transition shade to make sure all shades after it behave themselves in the crease. So I'm just going to slap it in there. How rude of me. I am using the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Crease Brush. Time for pink eye. JK, calm down. <laughs> I'm going to be taking Max Eyeshadow in Passionate. And I'm going to put it into my crease with a 228 Luxe Crease Brush. 
This definitely isn't the most vibrant of pinks, but it still is beautiful. But you're really going to want to pack this into your socket line and outer V so we can blend out a more vibrant pink next. Pinks really get a bad rap because it's a common thought that they can make you look sickly, but if you blend until your hands bleed, girl, you is fine. Next, I'm going to take a beautiful magenta shade. This shade is 1985 from the Urban Decay Vice Palette. It's the same shadow brush that we just used. We're going to snatch our outer veins. Magentas are such cool toned pinks that they almost look duochrome, which gives them a very neon effect, and I think that's why people like them so much. Look, no one is immune from going too crazy. Have no fear, your face powder is here. Just buff along the edges with a fluffy brush and your face powder. Sometimes just gotta pull out the big guns in your beauty blender and use what's ever left on the sponge to blend out those edges. Yes, the best part, let's drench ourselves in glitter. I'm going to be trying out the new NYX glitter glue today. After I smooth glue over about half of my eyelid, I'm going to be packing on some eye safe glitter on top. Yes, glitter can be messy, but it's almost like the janitorial staff of eyeshadow because you can really clean out that socket line and carve out a cut crease if you wanted to. Accidents happen, we're not all perfect. If you have some fallout, just take some scotch tape around your fingers and just roll it over your skin. And that, my friend, is why we waited to do concealer until now. I already know I'm about to go in with this NARS Creamy Concealer, so don't touch me. Nothing makes me happier than an under eye that you can literally see from space. Just I want light bouncing off my under eyes. It's so hard for me to find a shade that's light enough because I am so fair. Here I'm using Chantilly. I like the center of my face being so highlighted it looks like it belongs to a different person. So I'm concealing and highlighting at the same time. Under my eyes, forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and under my nose where hormonal redness occurs. Oh, and on my chin too. Sorry chin, don't hate me. I gave my beauty blender just a quick spritz with Max Fix Plus because it wasn't moist. I know people hate that word, so moist. Now I'm just going to blend out all of my concealer. P.S. Pat, don't swipe. Swipe or no swiping. Hey Dora, what's up girl? This is a great opportunity to clean up that outer edge of your eyeshadow, so just angle your beauty blender accordingly and fleek out that eyeshadow. By fleek out, I mean sharpen up. No, I'm saying things so much. I'm ready to bake this ish. What about you? Taking Laura Mercier's translucent powder on a powder puff, I'm going to first pat out my under eyes with a beauty blender and then place so much excess powder wherever I highlighted. When you bake, the heat from your skin gets trapped between your skin and the powder, so it actually cooks the powder onto your highlights in your concealed areas so that it just sets it perfectly and then keeps it lasting all day. Yes, sometimes less can be more, but come on, more is more. If you're an avid baker, taking in a lot of water is essential. It bites off that scrotum under eye. No, I'm saying. Give those lashes a quick pulse with a lash cutter, and they're ready for falsies and mascara. Hi, Ryder and I is the CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara. This is the waterproof version, and honey, what you know about lashes? Now that's cute and all. Can stop here, that's fine, but I'm gonna move on to lashes. With some duo glue, I'm popping on a pair of, I think, really Gucci Miami. I'm going to breeze right through brows because brows are so personal, but I am using the NYX Micro Brow Pencils in Taupe and Ash Brown. With the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush paired with MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes in Medium Plus and Medium Golden, I'm going to reinforce that cream bronzer we did much earlier. Because that cream bronzer gave some structure to our foundation, we're not completely bronzing from the ground up, we're just reinforcing what we already have. After we bronze up the perimeter of our face, I'm just going to go in and tackle my nose. Using a Zoeva 109, I'm just going to run my bronzing powders down the sides of my nose and under. I plead you, we're not done baking. I'm going to carve out my cheekbone just to sharpen that line up. And then after that sets for a quick minute, we're just going to go in with the Weva 106 and brush off all the excess powder and then blend over everything so we are seamless. Let's finish up these under eyes, shall we? Using a MAC 217 and the same colors from up top, we're going to put those on our lower lash line. Same order, obvs. Boom, we have eyes. 
If that is still not enough drama for you, let's go ahead and tightline our top and bottom waterlines with a creamy black eye pencil. I'm not sure what I was thinking, but just go with it. Here I'm using a NYX white eyeliner and I'm just putting some random dots on my face above my pupil and oh, oh wait. I'm sorry, what? If mistakes like this ever happen and you're using a non-waterproof liner, just go back to what you were doing, put those dots on, put your lashes on, and let it dry. Once it's dry, just flake off what you can and then take the excess and rub it off with a powder brush. Crisis averted, let's bathe in some Fix Plus. We used quite a bit of powder, so we just want to rehydrate it and make it disappear. Now my favorite part, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my entire existence. Don't mind me, thank you so much. On a Sephora fan brush, I am mixing Champagne Pop and Moonstone, both from Becca. And then with my ring finger, I'm going to put a little exclamation point on my nose just to lift it. I'm watching you. Don't you forget that Cupid's bow. When it comes to highlighter, I have absolutely no chills, so I'm just going to spritz my fan brush with some Fix Plus to get that nice blinding look. To blush, I am mixing Max Form Soul and Milani's Luminoso. And then stippling that combo onto the highest points of my cheekbones with a dual fiber brush. Start out with my lips. I'm going to be lining with a rose colored lip pencil. This is Ever from NYX. This shade in particular has been a go to for years. After we fill that in, I'm going to be going in with a liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The pencil wasn't nude enough, in my opinion, so this is pure Hollywood. This right here is a new product for me. This is a lip stack from Who Is She Cosmetics. For this look, I'm starting off with Silent Rose. What's cool about these is they're not inherently a lipstick or lip gloss. They're called lip composites, so they're like a high pigmented combination of the two. I'm actually really enjoying them. Trust me, brace yourself for this. I'm going to place ivory on the center of my lip and dead. Now just for one more bath of Fix Plus in my 13th bottle for the day, and we're done. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Love you. Hey love bugs, I hope you enjoyed. It was probably a very long video, so I hope you paused, got some snacks. I hope you didn't at least hate it. Hope you don't hate me. If you do, eh, what can I do? If you didn't hate it, then I guess that I can mark that down as a win. I'm already wondering what I should do with the next look. Hmm. If you are so inclined, you are more than welcome to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I love you so much, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.